Welcome back to Scale Speedworks. My name is Mike. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance. This is going to be a little bit of a long video, but all you have to do is sit there and listen. There's nothing going on here. And I'd appreciate it if you guys just hear me out. So here we go. Uh, obviously, I have a lot to say about this, which is why I penned a 1500 word opinion piece about the topic. But before I get started, I have a public apology to make. I left somewhat of a negative comment about this group build on a channel and I got called out for it, rightfully so. I just had a different perspective on the video and I responded accordingly. It seems my interpretation of the video was not what the creator intended. So although I did leave an apology in the reply, this is my public apology for the initial comment. I almost posted my 2024 New Year's resolution video, but I pulled it when I saw Charlie Mack's video. My video was going to be titled, I'm Done. And I was planning to talk about how I just don't have any more time or interest in participating in any group builds this year. Uh, it's time for me to take a step back. I have other priorities for myself in 2024, but I don't feel the need to post that video now. Uh, it seems many of you out there have similar feelings and there are a ton of group builds being brought forth by this community. Is that a bad thing? Well, I'm not so sure. You see, I started my channel because I wanted to get back into the model building community and to make friends who shared a similar interest. So what a better way to do that and connect with people than by joining a group build. So that's what I did. I joined the 2021 Pro Street group build hosted by Dylan over at NYS Modeling. I had a blast building my first model car in over 20 years while attempting to navigate the nuances of YouTube. It was a great feeling to be welcomed into this community and having people watch and comment on my build. Once you make those initial connections and start replying and subscribing to those who leave comments on your videos, your modeling community circle just grows from there. Now, I'm not gonna say anything here that hasn't already been said. So, again, if you don't feel like tuning in, so be it. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. My thoughts echo most of what's already been said, and I think that means a lot of us here are on the same page when it comes to group builds, at least right There being so many choices, it's hard to fall out of a boat and not hit water. It seems like in 2024, less is more. Group builds are being canned left and right, which is unfortunate, but understandable. Perhaps those hosting those builds feel that the abundance of group builds out there has watered down the exclusivity of theirs. I feel that there is plenty of room for different group builds, and it's not like there's competing group builds within the same subject. There aren't, for example, two separate pro street group builds or two separate NASCAR group builds being hosted by different modelers. It's not like anyone has to choose one group build over another. I understand the diminishing value of a group build, especially one that has a long and storied history in the YouTube modeling community when there are so many choices out there. So, having said that, again, are there too many group builds? Well, yeah, but there is something for everyone. Whether you build a pro street, NASCAR, motorcycle, big rig, street machine, snap tight kid, naked kid, a car from the 60s, a Mustang, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to build, there really is a group build out there for everyone. But are they the right choice? Buddy builds and small group builds with just three or four builders is great. But if you're new, and you want to be introduced 
to the community without stepping on anyone's toes and inviting yourself into a build, joining a group build is an excellent way to do so. With the abundance of group builds, you really can find your circle if you're just starting out. Or you can use a group build to continue to grow your channel by posting more of what your viewers like to see. Once you establish your channel and start growing your circle, you realize that the modeling community is so much bigger than your group building bubble. When you follow 400, 500, 800 plus content creators like I do, you can clearly see there's a lot going on in this community. And there is no possible way you can join every group build out there, complete all of your builds on time, and watch videos from all of the channels you follow. That's when this hobby becomes a full-time job. And I have nothing against that if that's how you want to spend your time. For most of us though, it's just not practical or reasonable to join every single group build. So that's why I'm taking a step back this year. I'm planning on only joining in a few group builds ones that I know I can complete on time. But I'm still going to support my fellow modelers, uh, not by joining their group builds, but by watching and commenting on their videos. That's how we should all be supporting each other in the first place. It's great to have a community, people with similar interests working towards a common goal, but maybe instead of throwing an idea out there and hoping it gains some traction, Perhaps we should be taking a different approach. Maybe we should consider if a buddy build with a fellow modeler could accomplish the same task. I don't want this to become divisive. I don't want anyone to be put out or upset that their group build isn't valuable or relevant. If you host it, people will build. No one should be offended by the abundance of group builds. Group builds help grow this community. We're all adults and no one is forcing any of you to host or join a group build just because it's being offered. And I'm not blameless in this. I thought it would be great for the community to come together and build Mustangs for the 60th anniversary of the 1964 Ford Mustang. But when I initially thought about proposing the group build, I considered a few things. A, was it something unique? B, was there gonna be enough interest in the community for people to join in? C, what were my goals and expectations gonna be of the build and of the builders themselves? And D, is there something in it for those participating. Once I was able to answer those questions, I posted my first hashtag Mustang 60 video. Now, a lot has changed since then, but do I regret hosting this build? No, not at all. Will I be in a hurry to propose or host another group build anytime soon? Not likely. Don't let anyone else tell you to do or not to do something you believe in, like to join or not join a group build, or to host or not host a group build. Just be prepared if things don't work out. With that said, look for things to be a little bit different on my channel this year. Now again, I'm not gonna stay away from group builds, but I'm not gonna be throwing my name into every hat that's passed around. For those of you out there building, I hope you still find some pleasure, camaraderie, sense of community here in 2024. And thinking more about this, maybe what we need to do as a community is agree upon some rules and expectations for hosting and participating in a group build. And I'm honestly not the person to look to to set up something like this. 
But perhaps we should look to someone who is a long-standing member of this community and has experience hosting group builds. I'm sure all of you out there have someone who comes to mind. And is this something that we need? Do we need a set of rules and expectations? Is it something that we want? Should we have a guideline for hosting or participating in a group build? That's something that we need to decide as a community. I'm all for it, but let me know. Is this ridiculous or is this a standard we all want to hold each other to as members of the YouTube model building community? And thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. And I will see you on the next one.